Hey guys, welcome back to On The Hook. We're here in awesome Frank's here in Pauly's Island with Chef Sharif. Looking Bye. forward to a great meal. Chef, what are we eating today? Uh, so today we're making trigger fish. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be in our specials tonight. Uh, fresh local trigger fish with butternut squash, uh, potato and leeks, and some uh, cherry tomatoes. Man, looking forward to it. Let's get to the kitchen, let's get cooking. All right, let's do it. Hi, I'm Dylan Foster and I love seafood. I've been in the Myrtle Beach area for more than 15 years and since then, my life has revolved around seafood. From cooking and catching it, to serving and selling it, I've done just about everything you can do in this industry. So come and join me as we tour the places, faces, and tales of Myrtle Beach seafood. This is On The Hook. All right, Chef, here we are. We're in the kitchen of Frank's Outback. You guys got an amazing setup here. Not only made it in Russia, but this kitchen pumps out some delicious food. Absolutely. And let's get onto that right now. Right. Let's do this trigger fish. A little special that you guys have worked up here for so the restaurant. So this is our uh, trigger fish special. It will be on the menu tonight for our special board. Okay. And uh, we get some really beautiful trigger fish locally. Beautiful. Yeah, this trigger fish came from Captain Marcus here in the inlet. Make sure you guys check him out on our upcoming videos. Captain Marcus is one of the absolute best fishermen here locally in the Grand Strand. So we are blessed to have the wares of his hard work. So we'll start by heating up our pan and okay. have a real nice hot pan. So a little, little, a little olive oil little here. Olive oil. All right. So that way we can get a real nice sear on the fish and have a nice color on it. Man, and I like these pans. These pans are are well seasoned. There's they some are. flavor been through they these are. pans. That's for and, sure. And uh, I think we had these pans for a long time. Oh so yeah, they have been well, well seasoned. Yeah, a good pan lasts a good long while. Absolutely. They get better with age, kind of like oh, us, yeah. right? Yeah, They're getting better 100%. with age as we go, right? <laughs> Hundred percent. Beautiful. And. Look at that, just that olive oil, just gonna create just a, such a good crust right on that fish. And trigger fish is so good with the sweetness of it, it really it is, caramelizes it really an well. Fish. It's gonna have a nice little crust there. It's one there. of my favorite fish to eat oh, personally. Yeah. And uh, even well. when I go fishing, whenever I catch a trigger fish, it's like it makes my day. <laughs> when you catch anything, it makes uh, your absolutely. day, right? Absolutely. For sure, but a trigger fish, something as delicious as a trigger fish. Definitely. Look at this guy's surgical. Look at these tools he's using. <laughs> these are this is a surgeon at work. This man is an artist. I love it. So I always try to kind of like move it a little bit just yeah. so the crust and the color stays uniform through the whole. You got to get good contact with that oil and that hot pan. In my classes, I call it the shimmy shake. That's right. We do a little <laughs> shimmy right. shake. You put the fish in a hot pan with it. You yeah. got to give it a little shimmy shake. They love it. That's the best part. And I usually try to cook my fish uh, whenever we're doing a pan sear. I will cook about 70% on one side. Yeah. Just to get a very hard sear, very beautiful color, and then I'll flip it off and finish the other side. Yes. And that way the fish stays kind of flaky, uh, very moist, and really good. Yeah, that's a great technique. For those at home, did you hear what he said? Sear it about 70% on one side. That's what you're gonna get that really nice golden brown restaurant quality crust on that fish. That's something we hear a lot about is, how do I get the restaurant quality fish at home if I don't have the time or the energy to come down here to Frank's, right. and that's a good tip Absolutely. there. Sear Absolutely. it a long time on one side to really ensure that crust. And as our fish is seared, we can go ahead and start the other component of the dish. So I have uh, some potato fingerlings and leeks. Okay, fingerling potatoes are one of my favorite, favorite starches. So these have already been par roasted, right? Yes. Yeah, so par these, boiled these par already uh, been roasted in the oven. Okay. And we roast them off uh, almost till they're done, but not quite. So right. they're still a little bit al dente and they don't get too much. Yeah, you can't. You're not gonna have time to cook a full potato per order in a restaurant. Oh, look at that! Dude, look at that! Oh, man, that trigger fish. I am ready for some lunch, chef. Absolutely. Ready for lunch. We have a, a butternut squash puree that we use as a sauce and a base for our dish. Okay. Butternut squash, we're here in the fall time. The butternut Absolutely. squash is a great so, flavor here. And yeah. the weather we starts try, chilling down. We try to keep everything as seasonal mm -hmm. and as local as possible. Yeah. Uh, we work with all our local purveyors uh, from produce to fish to meats. Uh, we try to kind of work in a synergy and keep it hand in hand. Uh, I believe that our success come as a whole together. So if the farmer, the fishermen, and the restaurant team up, uh, we all will grow together and we all grow successful together. So Amen. It's kind of uh, a synergy Amen. thing. Amen. You've got a good energy. That is the best mentality uh, that you can possibly have here. I mean, we're blessed locally in South oh, Carolina absolutely. on the Grand Strand. I mean, not only do we have great fishermen, we know that. Our fishermen yeah. here, the seafood industry here on the Grand Strand is amazing. I mean, that's why they call it the world's 
hidden capital of the world's seafood, Absolutely. right? Uh, but our farmers, I mean, we don't really think, a lot of people don't really think about the South Carolina farms that we have here locally. Oh, we're we have blessed to have some amazing, amazing farms. Amazing farms. Amazing farms. Right. Uh, we have some amazing products, and we also have an abundance of, of products and, and mm. variety of them. Due you're to the climate, right. the weather, and everything that we have here, it, it, we're really blessed. Yeah, you're 100% right. And you have, so you have had the opportunity to cook all over the world. You were telling me Absolutely. a little bit about. Tell us a little yeah, bit about so again I'm where you've been. I'm originally from Morocco. I was born okay. in Morocco and uh, uh, migrated to France, and I lived there for about four or five years. And, uh, and then I came here to the Grand Strand, and I cooked for a variety, of, you know, of restaurants around here in the Grand Strand in the past uh, probably 18 years. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been cooking for about 18 years here. Yeah. And um, it, it's been a bless, you know, it's been a blessing. Um, like I said, we are so lucky to have these amazing products, amazing fishermen. Um, we pretty much have everything that we need mm -hmm. to sustain restaurants here locally. Most right. of the things come literally from five miles away, right 10 here. miles away. Everything yeah. is right here. So, it's a really yeah. short supply chain, oh, absolutely. which makes a really great, not only a dining experience, but as a chef, I think, and I believe that you, you feel the same, when you can connect with your ingredients and then into your in connecting with your customers through your ingredients and being able to not only provide a great delicious meal. Look at these tomatoes, guys. Look at these tomatoes. Oh yeah, these are some amazing local oh, heirloom cherry yeah. tomatoes that you can't feed, right? So yeah, you're cooking it in, in, in oil uh, in and oil, oil and fat. Oh, water. Uh, we use uh, garlic, thyme, rosemary. Uh, we can't feed them really slowly. And uh, we use them for our service. Uh, most of the dishes I use them, uh, you know, as garnish. They're really sweet, mm -hmm. and they bring uh, um, more color to the dish, and they make it aesthetically yeah. more pleasing. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So when you can, when you're able to connect with your customers through your food, connect with the supply chain from start to finish, Absolutely. all the way, it makes a great not only dining experience for your customers, but as a chef, it makes it makes the experience just that much more 100%. enjoyable. Uh, they, uh, and and it helps us also, you know, forge uh, lifelong uh, relationships with our purveyors, mm -hmm. with our customers. Uh, we have guests that come here, you know, maybe twice a week, twice every two weeks. And, you know, they'll come in and they'll come through the kitchen and say hi and they want to see how we do things. Yeah. And, and we're very open about sharing recipes and showing people, you know, how we do things. And uh, it's kind of... Um, almost uh, a give back to our community, you know, to, to make sure that they, they're enjoying themselves, that we are very transparent with them and we show them what we do and where we get our product. Yeah. And also, like I said, in forging relationships with our purveyors, um, they become friends after a while, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you work with somebody for 10, 20 years and you yeah. see them day in and day out. So that's why the quality uh, is so um, high in this region because of those personal relationships with the fishermen, with, with the guy that grows the potato and the tomato and, and, and everything else. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier uh, to, to conduct a business and always count on the, the product that we're receiving is as fresh and it's an optimum condition yes. as, as possible. Yes, amen, man. You have done it right. You have the best mentality. This is why. I mean, here, Frank's. Frank's is a, is a staple here in the community. Absolutely. Right? You're new to the show here in Frank's, but Frank's itself has been here for over 30 35 years. 35 years. 35 years. So, I mean, you guys are here in the community. You're part of the community. People Absolutely. have memories of, of bringing their kids, and now their kids are bringing their kids, and so on and so forth. So those relationships that you speak of go back generations Definitely. to local farmers Definitely. and local fishermen and stuff. So it is amazing that you are bringing your talents here to Pauly's Island, here to Frank's. I know the community loves that oh, you're absolutely. here. Oh, absolutely. We're love, excited. I love being here as well. So, man, and the food shows. I mean, this, you guys should be smelling this. It is smelling so good. And the colors, we got the yellow, the bright red, the greens from the leeks. Oh, and that golden brown trigger fish, you know it's my favorite. Yep. Here we go. And uh, we're ready to plate now. Let's do it. Right. Let's get this plate and done. All right, chef, so we're here out on the outback, the out, the way, way back here on Frank's Outback. I mean, the kitchen's great, but this is beautiful. It's beautiful. This is it's beautiful out here. I mean, yeah. just, uh, just the ability to, to cook or eat out here is just, is just great. It's and that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring, we brought your amazing flavors out here in the ambiance here at Frank's Outback, and let's get to work. Let me right. take it away. Uh, so we try, with our food, I try to keep everything seasonal and bright, and we are in the fall, so we try to use right now a lot of root vegetables, a lot of bright things, uh, uh, you know, uh, things that represent the season. Yes. And also, it helps us with our food purveyors because 
this is the things that they have locally yeah and homegrown and, and you know yeah that, that that is very fresh for the time fresh and local is Absolutely. always the best way to go so for tonight we have a trigger fish we're going to serve it with a butternut squash puree uh -huh. and that's going to be as a puree and a sauce for the dish yeah uh, we have uh, potato fingerlings with leeks pickled onions this beautiful cherry heirloom wow, tomatoes uh, are great yeah heirloom cherry tomatoes and some microgreens. Uh, so I always focus on, on, on colors and aesthetics of the dish. Mm -hmm. I always think uh, the eye eats first. Uh, so if the dish comes to you and it looks beautiful yeah. and colorful, uh, that's half the battle already there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once you taste it and the flavor is there, oh, it just makes the whole yeah. thing come together. Well, your plating is absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you guys haven't checked this guy out, on Facebook, on social media. Follow them there at Frank's. See what he's doing on a nightly basis. I mean, Sharif, you are really an amazing artist when it comes not just for flavor, but for plating. The, the way you that so you're, put, you're presenting your food is really great. From one chef to another, I applaud you, man, because you. you do a really great job. Appreciate and I'm excited. I'm so thrilled to be here live with you and I get to see the, the artist at work. This is great. So, so we'll our fingerlings with, and leeks going yeah, down? We'll start with the puree in the bottom mm -hmm. and then we'll put our fingerlings and leeks and I love the combination of the potatoes and, and leeks. Yes. Uh, it's just amazing flavors. Uh huh. Uh, so we'll place our fish right on top. There we go. Ken with his tweezers. This is an artist, like a, a surgeon at work. Professional from the top, from the start to the finish. From the top to bottom, start to finish. Pickled onions. A little bit of pickled onions. They add a little brightness and acidity to yeah. the dish. And uh, with fish, I always try to have some acidic and bright notes. Yep. Uh, either things with uh, lemons, limes, mm -hmm. you know, pickled things. And it gives a different dimension and different texture to yeah. the plate as well. It's interesting that you're going with the pickle for the vinegar, for the citrus, yeah. the acidic note of the dish. Because most people, you know, what do they do? They take a lemon, they slice it, they squeeze a little lemon on it. Right. You're getting gonna have you're gonna have the same effect from the vinegar as you would have a squeeze of lemon. It's Absolutely. just a little bit more creative, Absolutely. definitely more colorful, and, and, and it gives flavorful, a, a, also. Another texture element to 100%. the dish as well. Yes, sir. A little micro green finish. And this is just gonna give it a little bit of height and aesthetically Beautiful. makes it look better. Beautiful. And uh, we have this uh, herb oil that we make here and it's a mixture between basil, cilantro, chives, and uh, I like to use it for the brightness of notes and uh, also to add different colors into the mm -hmm. dish. There you go, right around the edge. It's gonna hint, you have a, a little aromatic hint there, a little add aromatic little bit, sense right we'll on the dress top. Our little microgreens just with a little bit of touch. Beautiful. And that's it. There you go. Perfection at its best. Amazing chef, an amazing restaurant, amazing ambiance. And check out this food. Local trigger fish, butternut squash puree, the roasted fingers leeks, chef. Man, let's get some silverware. I'm ready to eat. Absolutely. Let's do it. Oh man, looking forward to this. I'm gonna dig right in. I'm gonna get a little bit of the butternut down here and I gotta come in for our trigger fish. Oh boy. Mm. Please chef, not just me. One second, I need to get some more here. I'm gonna get some tomato in there. Mm. Guys, I so wish you were here at lunch with us today. Chef has done an amazing job. Man, the, the leeks, the potatoes, that butternut squash is creamy and super flavorful. Really compliments that trigger Thank fish. So and much. then you have that local trigger fish, locally caught, Captain Marcus up there, fishing vessel lady Madeline. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, check out our other videos. Hit that like and, and that bell icon so you never miss a bite here on the hook. We're gonna be out with Captain Marcus very soon. So check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, man, Chef. Crushing it down here Thank you so much. in Pauly's Island, Frank's, Frank's out back or right here in the beautiful way back at Frank's. Man, these guys are doing it right. They've been a staple here in our Pauly, Pauly's Island Grand Sharing community for so many years, 35 years. 35 years. Correct. And we're happy to have Chef here joining us in the community, and you are crushing it, man. Once again, thank you very thank much you so for much. having us. My thank pleasure. you to Franks and Salters, Absolutely. everybody. You guys have been great. You join us next time on The Hook, where we take you to places, faces, and tales of your Myrtle Beach seafood so we can get some more amazing food just like this here at Franks, man. Guys, see you next time. Awesome again, dude. Thank, thank you so much. Beach easy.